What's happening? What's yeah. it started, man? Do me a huge favor. I like the content. It's something I think y'all should automatically do, but unfortunately, some of y'all don't. More videos from people that I know send me messages before the people that I know share my stuff. So that's just how it goes. I get, I get that. But do me a favor, hit that like, that subscribe button. We gonna jump right into it. You know, so many times I hear people saying they gonna rip. Now, everybody know now, a lot of my videos is about women too. You know, y'all know, y'all already know that. And even this video that I'm about to do, it includes women also. You can take what you can take from, you know, just apply it to yourself. But a lot of stuff y'all hear me talk about is direct to my brothers and mainly because we're not taught nothing. Like I always have to say, they throw us to the wolves because when you throw us to the wolves as boys, they have something to blame as men. And when I say they throw us to the wolves, I'm not talking about women. Women can't make me and men. I'm talking about society and I'm talking about, you know, everything that plays a big part in I would you mean, you do play a big part in that because as your mothers can, if, if they would come out of themselves and out of their feelings, they can teach their sons a lot of stuff, but they won't do it because they want their sons to view them in a certain light as if their sons is marrying them. Uh, and I never understood that. If I'm a mom, I want my son to know everything about the capabilities of a woman. And who are the be who is best to teach him that other than women? You know, so his mom can only really can teach him that first, but she's not going to do that because she's stuck on the way her son views her. So she's going to teach him a lot of BS, a lot of lies. So by me saying that, I have to say this, you know, like with, with girls, Girls, y'all have a lot of people going to teach y'all stuff. Y'all going to have a lot of men going to teach y'all a lot of stuff. So even if your father not there, some man is your uncle, best friend, teacher, uh, preacher. Some man going to tell you about men. That's just how it is. It's always been that way. Men are going to tell little girls about men, and they're going to t they're going, we, we're going to make it sound so bad that you wouldn't even want to fool with those type of men. Now, on when it comes to boys, on the other hand, we don't have that luxury, so that's why this video we'll talk to pretty much be caterers to everybody but ourselves, and that's why. What's up, rate is so high amongst black men that nobody cares, nobody talks about. And that's why depression is probably at an all-time high amongst black men. And don't nobody care. So these things, you know, nobody's going to talk about. Because don't nobody care. I can almost guarantee you black men are the most homeless men in America. I can guarantee. I can almost put, if they pull the numbers, we, we number one. Um, so with me saying that, why this video is about men and how we should love ourselves first. Nobody teaches us that as boys because don't nobody care. Even your mom should be teaching you that. Nobody cares. Your dad should be teaching you that. But don't nobody care. Your dad can't teach you that because he was never taught that. He was thrown to the world. Nobody. When have you ever in the history heard any platform to tell black men besides Kevin Samuels and that's why they took him out <laughs> so what I'm saying is going along with that that's why they had to get rid of Kevin Samuels because you never heard this before but anyway when have you heard anybody tell black men that they're valued you know what I'm saying that they should love themselves first now we say he the head and he's well, let me take head away because we don't say he the head no more. They took that away to make it sound sweet and appealing to women. So they added provider, right? We know that. So they say he's the he's the leader of whatever, but then don't nobody gives him inspiration or gives gives him help or give gives him strength um, or motivation 
to uh, maintain his leadership. So we all know when it comes to men, we're thrown to the wolves. So, and you know, they put out the saying, happy life, happy wife, happy life, which is the most, uh, you know, that saying had to be created by a bunch of Klu Klux Klansmen with, with white hoodies on just sitting around the table. Because I never heard men that eat that dumb in my life. But that's what we get as men, as black men. And not only black men, this message, look, this, this message is not even for black men. Let me stop right there. This message is for all men. Because I got to tell y'all this story. I, I was with a guy. He's 60, I think, three years old. And I done been with two guys. And I'm going to tell you something. These guys, Caucasian or older men. Caucasian, older men. They Caucasian. Two guys in one week, literally. And these guys are in a 60s. One of them, and this is why I'm saying, this is why this video is about why men should love themselves first. One of these guys, two older men in a 60s, was retired. He was married. And his wife divorced him and took everything. Took half his 401k. He still had to pay alimony. And he had to come out of retirement. He couldn't even afford to stay retired anymore. Man in his 60s. <laughs> and the other man, these Caucasian guys. So these not even this is not even for a black black man. This this for all men. But this other guy, 60 some years old, he was close to retirement. He couldn't retire because his wife divorced him and she was cheating on him, which he say. Uh, she divorced him and took the house that that was already paid for. She took the house from him, and he couldn't no longer afford to retire uh, when he's supposed to retire. And she took the house that she took from him that was paid for and sold the house for a million dollars. So she got all smooth and she with a new man now enjoying her million dollars that she got from him. And he admitted that he's a, a sucker. Like he, he had, this guy admitted that. And that's why I'm telling y'all this story. As men, you have to love yourself first. Like I would literally go on. I went to Vegas by myself. And when I tell guys this, they eyes get this big. Uh, because they they we they they can't even fathom that how I'm able to go on these trips by myself, enjoy myself, and keep myself company. They can't fathom the fact that I can do that, and that's a problem with me itself. Because if you are a man and you cannot uh, love yourself first and take yourself on trip, take yourself on cruises, uh. Buy yourself your own house. I have, I, listen, I bought my own house. And it's funny because I own this house. And everybody that used to come in it used to be shocked. Because as black men, we're not taught to do stuff like that. We're not taught that. And, and, uh, as men, period. Let me, let me, let me, let me refresh that. But especially as black men, we are taught to not have anything unless it includes a woman. I mean, saying that, that's what making me say this. Uh, I can almost guarantee you that we're number one amongst su suicide. Suicide when it comes probably to, when it comes to men right now. I can probably almost guarantee you. Like I said, we're number one in homelessness. Nobody is going to help you. Nobody is not going to help you, help you as black men. They're not going to do it. They don't want to do it. I was watching a video with Ken Griffin Jr. just three minutes ago. And that's what kind of inspired this video too because I was watching him. And if y'all don't know who Ken Griffin Jr. is, he's a former professional, um, one of your biggest Major League Baseball players in history. Everybody should know Ken Griffin unless you're young, you might don't know him. But a lot of y'all got his shoes on and don't even know it. But anyway... Uh, he was telling a story about his dad because the guy asked him, the guy said, would you still have been as big as you were, King Griffin Jr., if it wasn't if it wasn't for your dad uh, 
I, I think playing baseball first or some of that nature. And he said, yeah. He, he said, because my dad didn't, my dad didn't play that. That's how he was. He was going to make me be the best anyway. And he also said his dad wasn't even going to play baseball. His dad was going to play football. And he was talking about how he had to sleep in a drawer. His dad went out to play uh, baseball, and he had to sleep in an actual drawer. But he said yeah, his, he had to sleep in a drawer because he was a baby. Keep in mind, this is when he was a little baby. And his dad had to sleep on a, on a bench outside. We talking about outside on a bench. Because they didn't rent apartments to black men. Only, only the black woman with a key, and that that struck some because that get that shows you every single thing is built against the black man. Every single, thing. every single thing. That's why these things, you know, what I'm saying so high amongst us, and that's why I have to make these videos because don't nobody care about you. And, you know, when he said that, it inspired this video, but, I and I never seen so many men, I got, you know, I know a lot of men, they on three, four marriages, you know what I'm saying, they in and out of relationships, they in and out of marriages, like, like, it's nothing, I'm not even on my first one yet, like, I, I got me, I got partners, we, and we almost, you know, 50 years old, and they never been married one time, and we still, we, we still saying to ourselves, we don't think we we'll ever do it because of how they made it in America. Like I just told you about the two guys. They got everything taken from them. They can't even retire. You see what I'm saying? So, but I'm seeing a lot of guys in and out of relationships, in and out of marriage, man. And that speaks of what has been placed in us along the way. Um, every man should be able to be by himself. And, and love yourself first first a man that's hopping in a relationship relationship marriage to marriage you're not going to be respected by a woman like even if the guy that i'm telling you the one that got his house to said that he said he was sucker for women he was he was he, he was he said the judge let me show you something he said the judge was a black lady he said the judge told him this in court he, she said, you are nice. She said, you are what they call a rescuer. He rescues women. And, and no no matter what condition or what no no matter the position or whatever they in, he he, he rescued. And he was telling me this stuff. And I asked him, well, when he, I, I asked him, I said, because I can read people. And I'm always knowing what's going on. And that's most of these guys are like this. Um. So I asked him, I said, was your dad in your life? He said, now his dad wasn't available. I said, that's where the problem is at right there. You've been taught to rescue women and put yourself last by a mom, by your mama, which is a woman. They're going to always do that. That's, and that's why I have to tell y'all guys this. Because a lot of these guys are searching for that same feeling that they mom gave them. And that's why you see them jumping from relationship, 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 marriage to marriage, because they're trying to get that same feeling that their mom gave them. And they're thinking that they're going to get it from all these different women, and they don't love themselves. And a woman can see this lack of, of confidence all over y'all. You got to know this. Women can smell this on y'all. Women smell it. So, if, you are, if you're a man and you're hearing this video, learn how to love yourself and take care of yourself. As a man, if you never lived on your own, I know a lot of men like this. They never lived on their own. Never had their own place. They always been married with a woman or they always stayed with a woman. Whether it was their mama, they went from their mama to another woman. They have never enjoyed themselves. And when this is the case, you don't know yourself. You don't know yourself. And when this is the case, you can't love yourself. It's impossible. It's impossible. So, men, you got to learn how to love you. Nobody else is going to do it. 
um, you know, this, and, and if a lot of people would listen to this, this will kill the, the depression, you know what I'm saying, the suicidal thoughts and all that, because you're looking for somebody to rescue you because you didn't rescue people. You looking for somebody to show you this type of love because you love people. Society teach us as men to give the shirt our, off our back for our kids and for your wife or your girlfriend or whatever. But then you don't get this in return. And then when you when you fall short or when you get on bad ground, you know, hard times or whatever, nobody's coming to get you. You can't go and, 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 and go to the courts and say, hey, I don't want to pay child support no more. I'm on bad terms. I'm, 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 I'm doing bad. I, can't, I, don't want, I don't want to pay child support no more. And they going to let y'all child support. They ain't going to do that. Because <laughs> they need the clamps. They need that to you. See, a woman, she doing bad terms. She going bad. Everybody's going to reach out to help her. Everybody. Everybody. She go everywhere for money. You know what I'm saying? She go everywhere for money. They going to put it in places to stay. And I know a lot of y'all say they probably do do men like that too. But these not going to be no shit. I ain't talking about shelters. They literally will put these women in houses, apartments. Nice. You see what I'm saying? Uh, get them child support. The woman, and then when the woman get on bad terms, you know what she can do? She can get rid of the child. You can't do that. She ain't got to go on child support. She got custody. She can get rid of the child. <laughs> so many different ways legally. So. Y'all guys got to learn how to take y'all selves on trips, man. Buy y'all nice stuff. Buy y'all what y'all want. Enjoy y'all self. Enjoy life. Um, we're not taught that as men. We're taught to give to everybody else. Make everybody else happy. But after you've done that, you know, and when Chris Rock said the thing that makes a lot of sense. He said, women and women, kids and dogs uh, love unconditional But me and we love Under the conditions Of what you can provide Once you can't provide it no more Cause the love come, That we're showed as men Come with attachments It's not loving who you are That's why I don't I, I, I tell y'all about uh, Dating certain women Because most women Gonna only date you under conditions They're not gonna Listen, it's so many women around the internet and, 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 and to back what I'm saying because, you know, y'all go think I'm just saying this stuff. Kevin Samuels had dozens, hundreds of them on his show saying they couldn't even date an average man when they're average. So this is the thought pattern of us, of how we are viewed after we didn't gave everything. We didn't got hung on trees for these black women that think like this toward us. You know what I'm saying? So as black men, why do why are y'all so quick to get everybody else everything they want before yourself? Now when you dead and gone, they're gonna cry for a couple of months. And you gotta get this in your brain. Everybody gonna celebrate you for a couple of months when you dead and gone. And then that's it. So all of what you done bought, all of what you done done, it goes out the door. Only thing that stays, let me show you something. When you're a black man, I don't care about the cars that you supply. I don't care about the bills you pay. All of that stuff is going to be forgotten. All the stuff you bought for your child and all this stuff is going to be forgotten. The only thing that will stay here is everything I'm saying now. You will never be able to get rid of these videos. Or you will never be able to get rid of the knowledge that I'm putting out here in people's brain to get them to want to change. That don't go nowhere. You see what I'm saying? So, just say this, man. I know I, you know, this, I might make part two, two of this because I don't want it to be too long. But y'all guys got to enjoy life, man. Start. I never seen so many men jumping from woman to woman to woman to woman. Getting put out of house, you get put. He get put out of this house. He goes over there to another woman. Get put out. Like you're always going to be to blame. They're going to always be to say he's not. They're not even me. They don't see. It's a game been played on us. I'm with you 100. percent But it's time to stop getting played and start playing the game. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all are satisfied with getting played. Let's stop playing. Let's stop getting played and start playing the game. 
buy y'all houses, man. So single man. Buy your house. And any woman that you get with, if she want to come and be with you, she have to maintain this stuff. You see what I'm saying? Like, don't, you're not a rescuer. You're not, a, you're not these women's savior. Stop trying to be a savior. Save yourself. If this woman want to be with you, she have to come into your life and maintain this stuff. Stop ruining yourself as you're the lower value person. You see what I'm saying? Like we was taught. And that's why you're going to continue to get treated that way. Because you're looking at yourself like you're the lower value one. So, with this being said, start enjoying life as black men, as men, period. Get stuff on your own. Take these vacations yourself, man. Enjoy life. Stop. One, I, I made the last video said stop chasing them. We got to become leaders again. This, this is the reason why they don't respect them. See what I'm saying? So, long story short, man. Y'all like, subscribe, man. But go on these trips by y'all shit, bro. Stop. If you're single, stop hopping from woman to woman. They ain't going to respect you. You're going to keep losing. Only thing you're going to keep doing and you're writing your golden years off because they're going to belong to somebody else. I'm out.